Well, hello, Tube. Today, we're here to talk about, as you can see, clearly, Robber's Roost by Zane Gray. Uh, part of my June on the Raiden trading for 2024. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, consider liking, subscribing. There's a whole bunch of playlists down below. There's some Zane Gray, a ton of Louis L'Amour. I have a Western playlist that has a bajillion videos in it now. Lots and lots of Western content if you're into that sort of a thing. There's also other playlists down below that you could peruse if you'd like. Also, I have a bookshop.org affiliate where if you use to buy this book or any other book, I don't know if this is even still in print. We'll see if there's a link down below it's still in print. If not, I'll still have an affiliate link down below. Uh, if you used to buy this book or any other book, I get a eensy weensy uh, bit of uh, commission. You get an awesome book no extra cost to yourself. It's a win-win. Also, there's timestamps. So if you want to skip any of this drivel, you can. Feel free. About Zane Gray. Born Pearl Zane Gray, uh, January 31st, 1872 in Zanesville, Ohio. Isn't that uh, a coinky dink? No, I think it was renamed after him, maybe, question mark. Died October 23rd, 1939 at the age of 67 in Altadena, California. He had 112 film adaptations with uh, and also television ad adaptations. That's nuts. You know, in today's world, he would be a, a bajillionaire. Oh, so that'd be um, that'd be a thing. About this book, ain't a lot about it uh, that I could find. I don't think it's one of his more uh, popular works. I don't think. But it was published 1932 by Grosset and Dunlop. That's all I got for you. There was a movie released January 1st, 1933, 64 minutes long, directed by David Howard and Louis King. No idea who they are. Also, uh, starring George O'Brien, no idea. Maureen O'Sullivan, no idea. Uh, maybe you know down below. Let me know down below if you know who those are and if they're like in any sort of famous movies. The synopsis. Through uh, I got this from Bookshop.org, so apparently this is on Bookshop.org. I just forgot. I wrote this, uh, typed this up uh, quite a while ago. So this is as fresh for me as it is for you uh, while battle rages between two outlaw gangs in a remote utah canyon jim struggles to rescue helen herrick who has been captured and held for ransom robbers roost tells the story of their personal struggle to escape the clutches of the murderous outlaws while simultaneously safeguarding their passion one that is not likely to survive the beautiful yet deadly terrain and people of the old american west Skyhorse Publishing is proud to publish a broad range of books for readers interested in the fiction that takes place in the Old West. So apparently um, the copy they have at bookshop.org is from uh, from that press. So I have a new segment on my videos where I asked ChatGPT to give me a review of the book that I read. Just to see how AI does with uh, with book reviews. It's, it's a... Um, it's kind of fascinating sometimes it's spot on sometimes it's way off and sometimes it's just generic drivel just like my videos so shall we see what chat gpt has to say robber's roost by zane gray is a thrilling western novel that transports readers to the rugged landscapes of the american frontier set in the desolate canyons of southern utah gray spins a tale of outlaws betrayal and redemption the story follows the protagonist a cowboy named utah blaine which i don't remember the name of the protagonist i don't think it was utah blaine that could be wrong though he finds himself entangled with a notorious gang of outlaws led by the cunning and ruthless court blaine seeks to redeem his past and win the love of the woman he cares for must navigate treacherous terrain and face dangerous ad adversaries to bring justice to the lawless land gray's vivid description brings the harsh beauty of the western wilderness to life immense uh, immersing readers in a world of dust choked trails towering messes and hidden valleys his portrayal of characters is equally compelling capturing the complexities of human nature amidst the backdrop of the lawless frontier robber's roost is not merely a tale of action and adventure it delves into the themes of honor loyalty and the struggles between good and evil through twists and turns gray keeps readers on edge of their seats building suspense until the climatic showdown 
between Blaine and the adversaries. Overall, because these have to end with overall... Robber's Roost is grippling is a grippling Western novel that delves delivers not delves delivers both thrills and depth with a with its richly drawn characters and evocative settings. It stands as a timeless classic of the genre, showcasing Zane's mastery of storytelling in the Old West. Overall, it's pretty generic, right? So there's that. Finally, my thoughts on Robber's Roost by Zane Gray. I didn't like it simple as that that's it for this one Pete. now um i just found okay there's a couple things one i found it pretty boring like i was this is one of those books where i would catch myself doing my taxes in my head um trying to decide what i was going to read next maybe writing a list of the groceries i need to pick up i don't know if you ever have books like that where you just don't click with you and you can just zone out like instantly before you know you read like 10 pages you have no idea what's going on but you're like I don't care anyway, so I'm not going to go back and uh, see what I missed. That's kind of like this book. Maybe that's not fair. I don't know. However, there's a lot of Westerns that I've read. Now, last couple of years, June on the Ring has been the thing where it just it pulls me in right away. And it's just a great, fun read. So I don't think it's necessarily my fault, per se. I think that... I think this one was just a dud. One of the things I thought I was going to really like about it is that this seemed like it was going to be in the perspective of the bad guy, which is one thing you don't see a lot. However, uh, it was just, it was boring. So boring. There was a lot of talking. Like, talk, talk, talk. And when they were talking, it was in the dialect. So things were, like, misspelled and choppy, which is what's out of the spot. Like, that's how they were talking, right? It was just really distracting. Also, it threw a bunch of names out right away. And any time that a book throws a bunch of names out, I kind of... I'm not good with names. Like I like I said when I was reading the chat GPT thing about Utah Blaine or Blaine Utah, or they said the name is... I don't remember what the main... I don't know what any of the people's names are. That is quite common with me in, that, in both reading and in real life. I could... I could meet somebody 17 times and I'm going to get their name wrong all 17 times. It's just how my brain works. It, it does. It's not good for it's not good for names. So maybe that's probably not the fault so much of, of the book as that's that's my fault. But it's just it was a dud. Zane Gray for now I'm not I, I'm not like well read in the western genre but from what I have read Zane Grey reads completely different um, almost more like Max Brand because Max Brand also kind of reads different but whereas like Louis L'Amour for example he's just an awesome storyteller and not that Zane Grey is an awesome storyteller but his his writing's more kind of like flowery. It's it's not like a modern. It doesn't feel like you're reading a modern book. Last year, I remember reading Western Union by Zane Grey, and I actually, if I remember correctly, I enjoyed it. I don't remember it as as like flowery and dated feeling. Although that book might have even been older. I don't remember now. They all can't be gems, right? If you're a fan of Robber's Roost, uh, let me know down below where i'm wrong or, or if i've overlooked something or so on i i don't think i'm gonna give it a second chance it's just i'm looking at my at my western shelf i have a western shelf yes i, I guys got so many other things to read that i don't think i'm going to give it a second chance ever but you know uh, it, it, it could be me it could be the book it could be a mixture of both I don't know. I just didn't, it just didn't do anything for me. That's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.